hello guys welcome to my youtube channel scholar tech studio in this video we will do a simple static structure analysis step by step first we will drag this static structure analysis to our project schematic okay so the first step is uh, engineering data this is related to the material properties so in this lecture we just going to uh, uh, do a simple static structure analysis so we will not uh, do the uh, like uh, variation in the uh, engineering data so we will use as default so the default material is static stru uh, structural uh, st static structural steel okay so the next step is geometry so we have two options one is that we can uh, import a geometry like we have created a geometry in other CAD software like SOLIDWORKS and other software and we can import that geometry into our uh, ANSYS workbench and the other option is that like if you right click on it then you will see there is a, a discovery space claim and design modeler so these are three different software that we can use to create a geometry inside the uh, ANSYS workbench but in this uh, tutorial we just uh, import a geometry that we created in SOLIDWORKS so just right click on it and then go to import and here you have to browse the step file like this is the step file of my geometry so select this one and then go to open so now you can see that this green take it means that the geometry is okay and the next step is the static uh, in this step we will apply the loading condition and bounding condition so just right click on it and then go to edit so our mechanical solver is opening so we have to wait until this is uh, completely open and here you can see that here is our project tree first is like the geometry if we click on the geometry okay and then click here and select the geometry and here you can see that it's uh, assigned the structure steel as a default material okay and if we have more than material in our library then we can change from here but this is a simple static structure analysis so we just use the structure steel okay so the next step is meshing just select the meshing and then right click on it and then go to generate mesh and you can see that uh, our mesh is created so in this video i'm not going to i'm not going to in detail about uh, the meshing so we just uh, create the mesh okay so the next step is we have to assign some bounding condition and some loading condition so in bounding condition let's suppose we suppose that this end of this beam is fixed so we will go to the static structural right click on it and then go to insert and then we will select the fixed support okay then we will select this face and then here we will apply so now we have apply our boundary condition that this beam is fixed at this end and now we want to apply a tensile force of 1000 newton on this face and here you can see that there is a question mark this means that we cannot solve a static structure analysis without boundary condition and loading condition so we just apply the boundary condition it means that the requirements are not completed so we will right click on it then go to insert and we will select the force and then we will select this face okay and then go to apply and here we will specify the magnitude let's suppose uh, we put it 1500 newton force okay and here you can see the direction direction is outward if you want to change the direction of this force simply click here on the click to change and click on the arrow and now you can see that the force direction is changed and just apply so now you can see that the direction of force is changed so in this way you can change the 
direction of force according to your requirements so again click change click on any arrow and then okay now you can see that the direction is changed now this step is completed and the next step is what results we want to obtain like we want to calculate the deformation so on the solution go to insert and here deformation there is total deformation next insert strain and one minus strain and similarly uh, we will calculate the stress okay and then and if we want to compute the factor of safety then go to insert and here stress tool and then select this one and under this you can see there is a factor of safety now we have uh, set our goals like our results that we want to compute at this loading and bounding conditions so then uh, this sign indicate that it need to update it needs to solve so we will click on the solve and we will here you can see the progress like mathematical is building the mathematical model and then it will solve and you can see that our statistics analysis is completed and here you can see the green tick so if we will select this here you can see that this is the total deformation if we fix this end and apply a force on uh, 1500 pull force at this end so here you can see that these are the total deformation results okay and uh, similarly if we select this this is the contour of strain and similarly this is the stress induced in this uh, beam if we apply a tensile load at this end and similarly factor of safety so here you can see that the factor of safety is 6 uh, 0.266 so this is the factor of safety okay so now we have learned how can we do a simple static structure analysis so the next step is uh, we want to export these results into our research paper or into our report if we will just take the screenshot of this one okay then the quality of the results is not good if you want a high quality or good quality results then what you can do first you can uh, set its location that i want to see in this direction you can zoom in and zoom out using the uh, cursor wheel and from here using the pen you can specify its position let's suppose i want to set at this position okay so the total deformation uh, then go to image and here go to image to file okay then uncheck this one and here select the high resolution and here you can select the image and legends and from here if by default the background is uh, blue color in my previous video I explain how can we change the background color because I like the white color so therefore it's showing the eye color so you can change uh, like blue color or white color and if your color is blue but you want a white color results because its appearance is good so you can select here from white light okay and then here we can form, select the font magnification like three or four and then set okay now you have to specify the location where you want to save this uh, let's suppose i'll select this stress one no this is the deformation so you can give any specific name and file type like if you want jpg png or bm uh, p file so it's up to you and then go to save similarly uh, for stress uh, equal stress and then go to image and then go to image to file and from here you can specify the three like the magnification factor is three and then set uh, okay and now you can change the name like this is the stress so i already have a picture so i set stress two and set okay now we will go to the desktop 
so this is our stress 2 so now you can see that our the quality of the results was very good so we can place this high quality picture into our report or research article okay so we have completed the static structure analysis and if you want to save this just go to file and then go to uh, save as and you can specify the location like i want to save on desktop and here you can give any specific name like static structural analysis and then just go to save so now our file is saved at the desktop so you can save at uh, any specific folder i hope you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my upcoming video